Hello all and welcome back to a day in the life as a print on demand seller. But I guess more realistically, a YouTuber, an Amazon seller, a coach if that's what you want to say. I like to mix it up, you'll see. The day starts when my alarm goes off at 7.20. I fight with myself to get out of bed for a solid 40 minutes. After running out of app notifications to check, I eventually prevail and get up. After I've washed my face, brushed my teeth, we like to get in a solid workout. A 2021 goal Lauren and I have is to get a lot healthier. At around 9am, I'm ready to work, showered, dressed and looking forward to the day ahead. I like to start each day with what I'm going to focus on that day. I know many suggest doing this the night before, but I feel more committed to those goals knowing that I've just written them. And now I'll respond to emails, Facebook groups, all the YouTube comments I got overnight. I like to respond to every single comment that I get. I don't know how sustainable that is, but I always wish the YouTuber on the other end of the video responded to my comments, which is why I like responding to all of your comments. After this portion of the morning is gone, it's usually around 10 a.m. and time for some breakfast and most likely YouTube distraction. I definitely spend way too much time watching YouTube, but in my defense, most of it is quite informative. As it's Wednesday, I have a Zoom call at 2 p.m. with our students of our Amazon FBA course, so I'll spend some time preparing for that, and then I'll move to continue editing today's video, a fun one all about fonts. I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos, and sometimes I'll use Motion Array to get graphics, titles, and sound effects, and I'll use Epidemic Sounds to get a soundtrack if that's what my video is going to have. Once that's all done, I'll start the export and usually my laptop becomes unusable for the next 30 minutes whilst the video exports. Hopefully that will change one day. Now I'll do a solid two hours of print on demand work. You could say this is the portion of the day where it's really like a day in the life as a print on demand seller. I like to start with trend and niche research. Even if I have a few ideas already, I like to try and stay on top of things. I like to write potential ideas down as I go until I have a good list of at least five potential ideas. I'll then head over to Vexels to get some further inspiration on graphics and potentially some things I could use. I'd love to draw each design out on an iPad and spend hours upon hours on it, but if I did that, I wouldn't be able to focus on anything else and my day is usually quite packed. You may recognize this portion of the video because I brought out a two hour design with me segment where you can just have the video on in the background and you can do your own designs whilst listening to the music and the calming sounds at the same time. It's really, really nice to work alongside someone else. Right, once I have all the necessary graphics, I'll start designing. Just one design a day. That's another aim I have for 2021. I like to use Photoshop, however, there's so many tools you can use. Affinity Designer, Photopia, Illustrator, Vexels, Placeit, and that's just to name a few. After the design is done, I'll usually FaceTime my friend who I'm doing this print on demand venture with. She's a graphic designer and we decided to try and do this together in 2021. That way we'd have more time for other areas we want to focus on as well. Once I've got the all clear, I'll upload those designs onto Redbubble and Merch by Amazon and potentially my own store. And that's just for now. I'm still researching other potential print on demand websites we might want to go into. At around 12.30, I'll have a light lunch, maybe chicken salad or soup, something easy and healthy. I'll usually binge watch a bit more YouTube with lunch, or if I'm feeling particularly motivated, I'll listen to a podcast or edit my own podcast. Now onto the second half of the day. I'll start by uploading the video so that it can go live at around 4 p.m. I'll do all the research for tags, titles, descriptions, and thumbnails, and then I'll try creating a thumbnail that stands out from what's already on YouTube for this specific type of video. This can take a surprisingly long time. And we can't forget at 2 p.m. we have a live call with our students. These usually go on for about half an hour sometimes longer, depending on how many students show up and how many questions they have. I really, really enjoy this part of the day because I love to help. I love it when 
everyone comes together and everyone helps each other and it's just a really nice feeling and it's a really nice environment to be in. Now that the call is over, I usually have a bit of downtime as I wait for my video to go live. But since moving to daily videos and working on a second channel about tech, the day has gotten quite a lot busier. So instead, I'm going to go to my list of planned videos and start shooting one so that I can post it in the next couple of days. I like to try and squeeze in at least 30 minutes of Amazon FBA research as we're on the hunt for a new product and we would like to have one found by the end of the week. As 4pm hits, I wait and respond to comments as they come in. This makes it much easier to manage rather than waiting and responding to them all at once. As it's Wednesday, I'm recording a podcast with my friend Josh for our Young, Dumb and Broke podcast. That's at 8 to 9 p.m. So I'll need to make sure I'm fully prepared for that episode. That podcast is going live this month, which is really exciting as it's been a long time coming. I know Wednesday is a crazy day. So we're now at around 6.30 p.m. We like to sit and eat supper, either in front of the TV or in the dining room. Another one of our aims for 2021 is eating earlier and getting to bed earlier. We used to eat at around 8.30 to 9.00 and get to bed way past 12, and that isn't exactly healthy. After Lauren makes an incredible meal and I stand around trying to help, but mostly getting the way we eat and chill for a bit. 8 p.m. is podcast time. This can go on for an hour, sometimes two, depending on how distracted we get in the conversation. And finally, it's the end of the day. Last minute tidying, preparing for the next day, and then bed. 10.30 with the iPad for some drawing or a book. Currently, I'm reading Creativity Inc., which is all about Pixar, an absolutely fascinating book. This ties in perfectly with the drawings I'm actually doing on my iPad as I'm in the process of trying to come up with some characters for my own print-on-demand designs. I hope you enjoyed this insight into my lockdown life. It may have seemed a bit mad and lacking any sort of focus, but I love having multiple businesses and focusing on various things throughout the day to keep myself interested. Just make sure if you want to do that and focus on many things at once, you've planned really, really well and really carefully so you can structure your day throughout the day to really make sure you focus on every little detail when you need to focus on it. But that's it for today. Looking forward to doing it all over again tomorrow.